now let's talk about after each annotation so this after each annotation is an exact opposite of before each what i mean by that is any method which we have annotated with after each annotation is going to run again and again after every test is executed so let's try to understand this with a picture so again if i go and draw this is my test 1 this is my test 2 what i want is whenever my test ends before just ending it should make a call to another method and in that method i would like to do some cleanup activity so let's say i would call that method as destroy and this is that method so first this method will run then this method will run and the test will end similarly for, for then this test will run after that this method will get called and then destroy so if i this have if i want to have this kind of behavior then i have to annotate this method with at the rate after each so this method is going to run right after each of the test has executed so if we summarize if we have a method with before each and a method with after each and there are some tests here test 1 and test 2 the flow would be first the before each will get executed then it will execute this then it will come here after each again it will go to before each then it will execute the test 2 then it will come and execute after each and if there was test 3 this behavior would continue so it will execute first again the before each then test 3 then after each each so this is how the behavior works so we are going to look at all this with the hands-on examples later in the course so let's continue with the next topic in next video thank you